I am the grande gringo. I am the fastest wrench of all of central Wisconsin. I deal with the dead and the dying and the rusting away of the automotive world. I have never met an equal on the battlefield of rust. Therefore, I am the only one. Next patient, O2 Chevy Avalanche, Z71. What is its affliction, among other things? Exactly what I expected to see. Rust. But that isn't what we're going after today, even though the more I look at it, maybe it should be. We are going after the gas tank and fix the whatever the hell that is. Step two. Replace fuel pump. Well, pretty easy to see why the fuel gauge isn't working. There's no float on it. Step two, drain gasoline. Makes it a lot easier to get it back in. Step three, which is kind of unplanned, find bolts and hardware that I know the customer handed me, but now I don't see. Eh, now I see. I thought this might be appropriate at this time. Do, 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 Well, you know the rest. Bare wires, electricity, and gasoline? Probably not the best idea. Unless you don't really care if you live or die. I didn't show the procedure of how to get that thing in and out of there for a reason. And this is that reason. Most of you wouldn't attempt this anyway. And those that would, if you can't figure out how to get that thing in and out of there, put down the wrench and screwdriver and slowly back away. And this is just a little reminder for all of you wrenches south of the Mason-Dixon line. Just because you're used to looking at things a certain way doesn't necessarily mean that's the way it is. If you're not willing to improvise, overcome, adapt, you probably ain't gonna make it up here. Step four, reinstall tank. All right, so here we are several hours later if you worked at the fuel pump factory, would you plug that in when you assembled the pump? Thusly, the brand new fuel pump that I just put in that, in that truck, that stupid plug wasn't plugged in. So I guess the next question would be, if you were installing a brand new fuel pump, would you assume that plug was plugged in? Oi, oi, oi. This is what I look like when I'm mildly irritated and just a little bit pissed off. It's the perfect ambiance, actually, because I see red. So in essence, I ended up doing that job twice because somebody at the fuel pump factory wasn't doing their job. Or they thought it would be a funny joke to mess around with the Grande Gringo.